Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo, Bosnian squad builder on the screen, 5 for 15, and let's get on to it. Begovic, 6 foot 7, he is an absolute giant and one of the best Premier League keepers you can use, full stop. We've got Mujadza as the right back, he's pretty average, he looks better as a centre half, but he's the only right back you can use for Bosnia, so he gets into the side by default. Uh, Bikovic, is pretty solid, he's not the quickest and he's not probably the tallest centre half you can use but he does everything pretty well, he's not bad for a silver. Safage, not the quickest, pace does let him down a little bit but he is good in the air and he has got good positional play as well. On to left back with Kolasinic, he's a really good left back actually, there are a lot of good silver left backs this year, he's very much up there with the best of them, gets up and down really well and he's good in the tackle too. Salahovic, Great passing, great shooting, great dribbling, but his pace kills him if he gets run. If you can keep him in a position where he's just laying the ball off, he's good for days. Panic, he's really, really good. The informed version, he, he can play pretty much anywhere in the midfield, this guy. Everything he does, he does immensely well. His stats are out of this world. Uh, we've got Medjuani. Uh, he's really, really good. Uh, six foot two, wins his headers, wins his tackles, up and down, up and down. Harjevic, really, really good. I was surprised how good this guy is. Uh, right forward, he's got so, so good finishing. He's quick as well and great dribbling. A really good player to use. Uh, we've got Lulic, the man of the match version. Similar to his uh, former forward partner. He's, he's good up and down. Gets his shots away. Got good pace, good dribbling. These are, these are good technical players. And we've got the informed Jekko, who is a solid beast. Pace, not at all. Finishing all day long. He is amazing in the air. This guy wins headers like no other forward I've used so far. And on to the highlights. Here we are. Begovic big and strong. Stopping that as the player probably should have scored. And again, look at that. Palms it away when he should have scored. We've got Salovic with a lovely penalty. Slotting it down the middle. He was very good to use. And then we've got Salovic again. Look at that for a strike. First time effort. Keeper saves. But no, his midfield partner makes the run and finishes it for him. And then we have got the forwards. The forwards are one that did the damage in this side. Harovic is really good finishes. Positional play was amazing for a right winger. And obviously here we got Lalic. Lovely running past the keeper. And there's not like running it into the net to make them look absolutely stupid. On to the next one. We've got Salic dribbling in. And look at this. Cuts it back. Yes, a little bit sweaty. But when you're playing on FIFA on Ultimate Team, you have to do it sometimes just to piss people off. And there we are again. Lovely finishes. All the forwards link really well. Lucic and obviously Dzeko here showing. Look at that for a header. It's so, so good. Dzeko won nearly every header. If you put the ball in and you've got him up front, he will finish. And he's not bad on the feet as well. A nice little finesse. He's not going to burn players away. So you've got to use him, obviously, with pace around him or he will struggle. But if you can get quick wingers... Getting the ball in or laying him off, he will score every time. It's a good squad build to use. I've enjoyed it. I've been Dango. Catch you all later.